Hey guys, it's Pastor Anthony here with your Daily Excellence and uh, just coming on for a moment uh, just to share a video with you guys from Council of Time. Uh, this video that I'm going to share with you is from Mike. Uh, it's from his ministry, councilofTime.com. Uh, and uh, for those of you who don't know, I've been following uh, Mike for several years. I started off following him on uh, Paul Bagley's channel, um, man, like five or six years ago, if not longer. And uh, so, you know, I'm a very uh, avid listener of his. I really uh, enjoy um, his deep uh, studies and in, in the Bible, and and um, you know, especially when he starts talking about um, salvation and and how we need to live better lives. You know, when he does his studies on um, uh, Romans and Hebrews and things like that, I really I really enjoy and get into those. But uh, this particular video I'm going to share is about 25 minutes long, and the video I'm going to share is a scenario only. Um, it's not a it's not true. Uh, it's just fictional. It's not. Um, has not come to pass, this has not happened, uh, but it's a scenario. It's a scenario of uh, one day we're all going to wake up to a news report and this news report will change our lives forever. And uh, you know, he put this out two years ago in, in the summer of 2017, but just within the last uh, 48 hours or so, uh, COT has rebroadcasted this again on their SoundCloud uh, archives. And so, um, I kind of help, kind of can't help but think that maybe there may be a warning to it. Uh, but um, you know, I'm going to say that for right now, it's just a scenario. Um, I'm not saying that this is going to happen anytime soon. Uh, not, this may, this particular scenario may not even happen at all. But um, it's one of those things you just have to read in between the lines, and uh, it's a very interesting scenario. Um, it's, uh, I would say, it's plausible. I'm just going to go with that. It's a very plausible thing. Uh, I do like that how in this scenario, um, for those of us who uh, have a general understanding of end times scripture and the book of Revelations, it kind of almost sums up the entire book of Revelations in a simple form for all of us to understand. And so uh, I did appreciate that in that video. And so I'm going to share that on here. It's about 25 minutes long. And uh, I think it's just it's very important. Um it's very. It gives a very clear understanding of the things that we could be facing in the future. Um, it kind of just breaks it down. Uh, the Book of Revelations. It breaks it down into a clear way of how things could come to pass, and uh, breaks it down to a very easy uh, to understand spiritual aspect of things that we're facing. Um, and it just brings more of a modernized idea of how things could go. Um, going forward. And so this video I'm just sharing, it's for educational purposes only. Uh, I'm not making copies. I'm not distributing it out. Uh, I'm not uh, making a profit. It's free uh, and it will be uh, for you, to, the viewer, to see. And uh, we are only, once again, only doing this for educational uh, purposes only on this channel. So we'll be sharing it uh, with you guys. And if you would like to support uh, Mike from um, Council of Time, uh, just go to his website at www.counciloftime.com uh, and you can uh, uh, register on his channel You could, uh, or his website. Uh, you can check out all the archives. Everything that we post here comes from there. And then um, you can also uh, donate to that website as well in the ministry that they're doing there. Um, for, for here on Daily Excellence, if you like to uh, um, help us out, you can like, share, and subscribe to this channel. And of course, we have backup channels and Patreon and all that stuff. Uh, everything is in the description links below. And of course, we have a website at www.dailyexcellence.org. And you can sign up for our email. Uh, we're going to start sending out a newsletter uh, in November. And so you don't want to miss that. So start signing up on our website. Just uh, go to www.dailyexcellence.org. And once the website comes up on the right-hand corner, you'll see subscribe to Daily Excellence. Uh, just click that, put your email in, and then you'll get an automatic response from us. And you will start getting our newsletters. That will come out once a month starting in November. You don't want to miss it because we got some pretty cool stuff coming up uh, on this channel. So with that being said, Here's the video. Have a great day, everyone. Let me know what your thoughts are on below. Uh, keep your comments positive. Keep them classy. Uh, anything derogatory will be removed. It's just letting you know now. Other than that, I will see you guys this weekend. Bye, everyone.
Let's go through a scenario if, since we have time. All of you who don't want to hear this scenario, God bless you. I know you can't stay long. It's 9 p.m. or past 9 p.m. I'm going to give you a scenario. I'm not going to say is it real or not. I'm going to give you a scenario. A story. You guys ready for this story? I know somebody out there probably said, well, you can keep your stories. Click. I'm going to give you a story. Though. Let me set the setting. Much like today, internal turmoil, some successes and failures, men deciding what to do about nations, tensions of nations rising. And one morning, one morning, everybody wakes up and something is strange with the television. There's something on the side of their TV, a strange symbol. Pick up your cell phone. Everybody's picking up their cell phones, and they're trying to get this screen off their cell phones to find out who called them, but they can't. Some of the older computer systems are they're locked up, and some of the newer ones have an emergency broadcast message on them. Right? So it kind of stays there, and people get accommodated to it, and I said 5.30 in the morning. 7 a.m. rolls around, central time. People begin to gather around televisions, everything else. And they can't believe what they're hearing. Traffic is different. The atmosphere is different. Some people still don't know. Some people don't want to send their kids to school. Some people do anyway because they don't know. You get in your car, you're going to drive down the street, and all of a sudden, you're looking everywhere, and people are gathered around any television set they can find. Groups are crowded around people's devices and phones. And they're watching something on the news, a special broadcast. The broadcasters on the news are a bit shaken by what they see. And they can't show certain things. But it's out of confusion. They begin to make people nervous. They hear that some type of assault took place with chemical weapons. And there potentially could be hundreds of millions of casualties. At that point, people are sickened to their stomach because they still can't believe it's too big of a disaster. Too big of a disaster. And the air sirens go off in places where it shouldn't. People don't know what to do. As the air sirens go off, you, your mind is going over time. People are not listening to the television. They're going to take shelter, running to their homes again. They start taping up everything. But what they didn't know was that was not a chemical launch. But it was a small body in space that was fractured. And it caught everybody off guard. And it was full of toxic gases. Cyanide released in many different places. 1 p.m. rolls around. People begin to learn the truth. All of a sudden, the reports start coming in from the Air Force, NASA, the EU. And sure enough, there are ice particles crashing into the atmosphere, releasing arsenic and a lot of other toxic chemicals. And they give a warning. Well... Night rolls around and people are sick to their stomachs because now they're unsure. They can't get enough information. Therefore, they're not settled. They searched the Internet so much so they've broken down certain sites. People are trying to make videos to explain it, but even at that point, so many people are online. 
but they have no other choice but to suspend service in certain non-critical areas. This makes people a little more nervous. The Christians are nervous. Then there's a certain places where people say, oh, it'll be okay. It'll pass. And as they say this, the ice particles disperse some more. It's another cluster of ice particles coming in. They start hitting the ocean. They disturb the atmosphere. Gases go all out everywhere. Now, people don't know that it's not as toxic as they think. But the initial report said arsenic. And because people are so paranoid at this time, they begin to run over each other to seal themselves in their homes, and that's when the true panic begins. That's when a law's control begins. Because you can't govern the atmosphere. All the while, it's becoming very foggy in certain places. It disturbs the weather. People begin to cause a calamity on the face of the earth. And then someone takes advantage of the situation. And they launch missiles at another nation. And war breaks out. They take full advantage of the chaos and now things are totally out of control. People scarcely know what to tell another. They're very shaken by this event. That in fact was a non-event. But by way of reporting, people have made it an event. As this happens, now the atmosphere starts to become toxic. In certain areas, and they begin to hear about it. They stop looking at the news, and people begin to report by themselves what they're seeing. Some people are making up things, and now things are totally out of control. But the other nations, this is when they launch their true assault. Because the giant fell asleep. The giant is occupied. And the other nations take advantage of the giant. The skies continue to change. Nobody knew it. But those fragments that flew through were the forerunner of some very dangerous gases. Small debris. So much debris, it inundates the atmosphere a week later. A month passes. The sunlight is disturbed in certain places on the earth because of smoke of men's wars. The oceans, the salinity begins to change, which upsets the weather patterns. And people are paranoid. Cities are dangerous. All of a sudden, the true Christians, the true ones who truly believe, the Spirit of the Lord increases within them. After a given amount of time, they have stopped their own foolishness because now they could be facing the end of themselves, not for everybody, just to themselves. And because they have cast away all the reservations of trying to look proper in front of everybody, the Spirit of the Lord increases dramatically on the face of the earth through the believers. And the believers actually begin to do the undoable by way of the Holy Spirit without reservation. They'll get no applause for what they do, but the Spirit of the Lord is strong within them. Then the spirit of darkness begins to come. Mankind first, they have a war. But that's not what the inhabitants of the earth should worry about nor should they truly worry about most things they would worry about. What humanity never knew in hindsight was that a demonic war was coming, 
a real demonic war. Or weapons don't work. A demonic war, manifestation of things and darkness, not so much having a shape, but the influence itself seizes the flesh of mankind. People are set in a type of torment, like a dream, a nightmare they can't escape. And they have no one to call out to. It doesn't touch the believers. But the demonic manifestation reaches into all that served the demons, all those who are partakers of anything of darkness, pay the price of darkness, and there was no escape for them. There was no place they could hide, no shelter that would work. As fear seized the inhabitants of the earth, anger also grew. Looking back, after it began to go down, there was a person who knew the Lord in his life. He knew the Lord in his life, but he didn't really believe all of what he heard. He was still here. He himself did not know about the demonic war. But he knew something was coming. But he didn't prepare his own soul for it. He did things in the world like he had an extra day. He served the Lord by way of mouth and certain deeds, but in his heart, he still wanted his pleasure in earth. After these things happened, he was trying to tell everybody, don't play. Don't ever take this time for granted. Don't turn your back on truth. And to hate your brother is to reject Christ. And at that point, because everything was over, people began to listen. And people picked up that story and began to tell it to others. Many years passed by after the great calamity. Many, many years. Sands rolls over the structures and everything else. Then he gets down to a later time. And you know what man did again? They forgot what happened the first time. Totally forgot. They had forgotten about the demon war. The war in the heavens. And the things that happened in between man became prideful again self consumed again building their massive structures thinking that they're the only ones prideful about what they have made developing their own systems but what they never knew was how they were inspired the gospel came and still yet, people took it for granted. During the time, some knew that something was on the horizon yet again for humanity. But this time, there'd be no coming back from it. This time, the everlasting kingdom would be set up. At that time, very few carry the word of God, a remnant they taught it to all they knew. They prepared themselves for things that happen in the heavens, things that would happen in the earth. But they can never prepare for the demonic war ahead of them. 
Unlike the last one, this demonic war would be the last one, and all things would be judged after it was over. All these things began again, humanity still in their arrogance, but this time, because it was the last time, there was a remnant. Although very few truly believed, they gave a hundred percent of themselves, so others would believe. Those people without knowing were already marked. Not marked to escape, but all who belonged to the Messiah were not going to be touched by demons. And the Messiah told them, don't fear what man can do to you, but what God can do to you. Hint after hint, he told them about the demonic war to come. But they tried to make it like a conventional war. They had greater concerns over how their flesh could be hurt and their things taken away. Than to ever face the true heart of a demon. They read many books, saw many histories. But nothing in the past would ever be like they were about to face they too thought they were ready. But this time, the Messiah came in the midst of it. And the earth was purged. And the children were settled once and for all. This time, the dragon was bound and cast away forever. And all who made it this time became something very new. Unlike the last time, mankind was given everything this time. They were given the truth. And even though they were given the truth, they still didn't believe. Many of them didn't, but the few that did rejoiced in that truth before it ever came. The ones who really belonged to the Messiah, they were thankful the small things. King Solomon had it right. There's nothing new under the sun. Although they misinterpreted largely many things, they were still kept by the Messiah. You see, this time was to be the last time. Unlike any time before it or any time that would ever be again. This time was the completion of a very long process. But this time, the remnant, the remnant would take the earth and the kingdoms would be given to them. All those of pride would learn who they were following. All those who did evil and evil acts and enjoyed doing it would find out who they were serving. And all those who desired to escape darkness itself escaped through Christ. Because this time was the last time. You know what the key to this story is? We sit right here today repeating what happened a long time ago but this time we have the Messiah this time there is a remnant and this time will be the last time many will be caught off guard yes they will but many will have you because you follow the Lord you see, this time is a remnant. This time. This time, the blood of the Lamb was shed. Only this time. And if evil rises, and false Christs do many great things, so will the Holy Spirit be given in balance that you will never slip or fall. In that regard, don't fear what comes upon the earth. 
but fear the one who sends things upon this earth. Take no thought of how you're going to make it through, but stay your mind on the one who went through all things for your sakes. Don't worry about the depth of the business of the kingdoms of this world, lest you're in them, but understand all of them are going to be wiped away. And there's a charge upon your life. You won't rest till you complete and begin to walk in the calling upon your life. You won't rest because you'll feel empty. Peace resides with those who find peace. And that peace is in the path of Christ laid before you. For you, there is no peace outside of Christ. Never be ashamed of it. Yeah.